Hey guys, this is Versatile from VSC Power, now hosted on Project Phoenix Media. In today's video game tutorial, I'm going to show you another way of how to connect your Sony PlayStation 3 game controller to your PC. You can use a USB cable, and you can also do it with a Bluetooth as well. We're going to use two different programs. One is called Motion Enjoy, just to install the drivers, and then the second program is called the Better DS3 Tool, which is a nice program because it does not require the internet unlike the Motion Enjoy program. So, you go to the More Info section, I got a link to both of these programs. The first site is the Motion Enjoy. Just go to Downloads, I'll have a link to where you can download the latest version that I used. And then also here's the website for the Better DS3 tool, which is really a better offline configuration tool than the Motion Enjoy. Okay, so let's go to my desktop here. I have a folder. I have both of these files here. So I'm going to go ahead and right click, and I'm just going to extract it right here just for example purposes. So I'm going to run Motion Enjoy Installer for the very first time here. Let's go ahead and do that. Here's the wizard. Next, next. That's fine. Next, next. Install. Okay, cool. And let's run the DS3 tool. Now, what do I have plugged into my computer right now? So I have my Sony PlayStation 3 game controller as plugged in. And I also have my Bluetooth dongle. Okay. But I did, uh, I did not install any Bluetooth drivers. So this, imagine it's like a brand new, fresh... Windows installed. I didn't install any Bluetooth drivers. This is the USB dongle Bluetooth that I have. So here we see that they both show up. So I'm going to go ahead and select both of these. And I'm going to do install all. It's just a little bit easier this way. What happens is it installs the drivers, but it also installs the Bluetooth drivers for Motion Enjoy for your Bluetooth dongle. Now one thing to note is it will overwrite your Bluetooth drivers, meaning that this Bluetooth dongle will be only used for PS3 use. It's not going to be used for other Bluetooth devices. So if you want to do that, then you might need to get another different USB Bluetooth dongle or just uninstall the Motion Enjoy drivers once you do want to use that Bluetooth dongle in the future here. So whatever reason, um, okay, great. I was waiting for it to turn green, so great. And that's about it for now. So you can literally just exit this program and we're good to go. We don't have to use the Motion Enjoy anymore. I do understand Motion Enjoy has given PCs uh, like blue screens a, a death in the in the past, in myself included. So we're going to use a better DS3 tool. So here it is. And this is what it looks like. So right off the bat, we see that my PlayStation 3 game controller is considered as a DualShock 3 USB. Here's my battery state. It's, 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 it's charging. Great. Awesome. And then we see that it automatically recognizes my USB um, Bluetooth dongle, which is great. So the first thing we want to do is make a profile here. So let's go to new. Let's do like X input because I want to emulate the Xbox 360 game controller. So you go to new. Just go give it a name. So I'm going to say Xbox 360 profile as an example. And then here, just click on autofill Xbox 360. It couldn't hurt to say automatically apply to controllers when connected. So I want to do that. And then if I want to test it, I can test the vibration here. Great. And then if you want to tweak these, you can by all means go ahead and do that. I'm going to leave it, and I'm going to say save the profile. Okay, great. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and select. I had two different profiles, same thing, but I'm going to go ahead and select one profile here. And then um, if I want to apply it, I can do that as well. Great. So let's go to Control Panel. And if I go to Properties here, let's test my PS3 game controller. Whoa, look at this. Here's the left axis. Here's the right axis. A, uh, X0, square, triangle, triggers. Here's the uh, triggers here. And then select, start, D-pads, L3, R3. So every all the buttons on my controller is working. Great. So let's say you want to do the Bluetooth method. So let's assume that right now this is good. You got everything connected here. Um, all you got to do is literally just disconnect your USB cable from your PlayStation 3 game controller. I just did that right now. And then you'll, if everything is set up properly, you'll say DualShock 3 Bluetooth. Now if I go to Control Panel, if I go to Properties, here it is. Everything is working. I have no USB cable connected to my PlayStation 3 game controller. That's awesome. Um, one thing you do want to do, it's pretty cool, is if you do Power Off Bluetooth Connected Controllers, let's say that you stepped away for like 5 minutes, 10 minutes, this program will automatically disconnect your Bluetooth uh, PlayStation 3 game controller from your PC and it will save your battery. So that's pretty cool. And I'm going to do a power off right now and instantly disconnect my game controller. And let's say you want to reconnect it. Great. So let's connect it to a USB. It's recognized. Remove the USB cable and then it will automatically go to a Bluetooth and that's awesome. Um, another neat trick is if you 
have this program start up with your computer, you can say start minimize, minimize the tray, and maybe closes minimizes. So when you st turn on your computer, this program automatically boots up. Connect your PS3 game controller, wait a couple seconds, disconnect your USB cable, and it's automatically linked to your Bluetooth dongle, and you're ready to play it in all different kinds of PC games that use the Xbox 360 game profile. So I just tried this in Far Cry 4. It's awesome. I might make a future tutorial, but I just want to make this like a, a, a generic, basic game tutorial using Motion Enjoy and the better DS3 tool, which is really a great offline tool configurator. So you guys have any nitpicky questions, leave a comment here on the YouTube page. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.